this sketch was, in a sense, it was good enough to have it on, on the label. Yeah. Oh, that's great. I really am honestly interested because you've been working on this, you know, as a narrator. Yeah, and I've been in so many museums and have always turned my nose up at ever using an audio guide ever, but actually this was so well written. And what are your reactions to seeing them in the flesh? You know, I remember the first time I was in a museum and I realized that there was a huge difference between seeing a painting and seeing a picture of a painting. Yeah, yeah. And seeing the things that are just not reproducible, like the textures of the pastel or the depth of paint on a canvas, right. or even just the size of something. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I, w I wonder if, like other things, if the fact that it's so smudgeable is, is part of what makes it beautiful. Oh, very. The, the fragility of it. Yeah. It's like, it looks like a butterfly's one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know what? I mean, the thing you, about, honestly, the thing about being a model is you, you take a pose you know, you, like if you're going to do a minute sketch or something, you take a pose that you think is going to be not so bad, and then 20 seconds in, you're like, this is not going to happen. Yeah. And even, I mean, even really simple stuff, like, you know, you think this really isn't going to hurt for 15 minutes, and then, and it, then it seven really, minutes into it, you're like, you, oh, no. You're, 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 yeah, you, you're this, trapped. <laughs> this is why some of the classic poses involve ropes. But to hold your hand off. Oh, you just hold you it. You just were holding a rope, you know, and the artist was just supposed to just forget the rope. Draw it out. You know, draw yeah. it out. Or not that not have to draw it in. 